Hi, today I'm going to explain an action thriller film called No Escape. The movie takes place in the year 2022, during which the international prison system is operated by private corporations and prisons have become big business. In a flashback scene, we see a band of soldiers marching on. Suddenly, one of the soldiers named John Robbins kills his commanding officer for being ordered to kill innocent civilians in Benghazi in the past. Next, John Robbins has been imprisoned for life because of his criminal act. Having escaped from two level 5 maximum security prisons already, Robbins is being sent to a futuristic level 6 prison called Leviticus. He arrives by streamlined monorail at the prison, which towers like a city of the future over the surrounding desert sands. After arriving at the prison, the warden of that prison tells every prisoner that there's no chance of escaping this prison and that death is the only way out. Soon, the warden calls for prisoner number 2675, John Robbins. He learns that Robbins is convicted for killing his commanding officer and also having escaped level 5 security prison. The warden then warns Robbins that he's forbidden from future contacts, visitors, phone calls, and letters, which angers him. In the next scene, we see Robbins thrown into a cell where he meets a fellow prisoner who gives him some food to eat. He also tells him about a jungle island named Absalom, where they send the worst prisoners and is the most feared prison in the world. Later that night, Robin wakes up to find that his prisoner partner is gone. Shortly after, he's taken to the torture room, where he sees his prisoner partner tied up in front of a large audience of other prisoners. As punishment for sneaking food into the prison, Warden orders Robbins to electrocute his prison partner. But Robbins refuses and drops the electrical zapper. To persuade Robbins, the Warden points his gun at his partner and threatens to kill him if Robbins doesn't pick up the zapper in five seconds. However, one thing leads to another, and Robin finds a chance to grab the Warden's gun and hold him at gunpoint. But Robbins immediately releases him as he's badly beaten by the guards. Warden is now convinced that he's a threat and decides to exile him to the jungle island Absalom. In the next scene, we see Robbins taken to the Absalom Island in a helicopter. Upon reaching the island, the Warden orders to throw Robbins in Sector 4 of the Absalom, controlled by a group of prisoners called the Outsiders. After being thrown from the helicopter, Robbins is alerted by some strange noises coming toward him. He then immediately starts running towards the jungle to hide from whatever danger that lies in front of him. However, Robbins is soon captured by the barbaric Outsiders, led by a psychopath named Walter Merrick, whose only rule is the law of the jungle. Robbins is tied up and taken inside the Outsiders' camp, which looks like an abandoned island resort, complete with dilapidated houses and a swimming pool. The Outsiders take away Robbins' clothes and stuff, but Walter Merrick ordered them to put them back. After some time, Robbins is taken to a pit, where Merrick forces him to fight one of his men for amusement. However, Robin kills that man within seconds without much effort. Merrick, after realizing Robbins' skills, is impressed by him. He offers him a high position in his gang, but Robbins knocks Merrick into the swimming pool, steals his rocket launcher, and flees the Outsiders' camp. In the next scene, we see Merrick and his gang searching for Robbins in the jungle. Soon, they find him and corner him at the edge of a cliff. One of the gang members shoots Robbins in the neck with a blowgun dart, causing Robbins to fall into the river below. Next, another group of prisoners on the island called the Insiders, led by a terminally ill doctor and a wise dictator named Father, retrieve Robbins from the river. Meanwhile, back at the prison, the warden learns about Robbins being captured by the Insiders gang. After some time, Robbins wakes up and goes outside and takes a look at the Insiders camp. He's surprised to see that there are more of the amenities of civilization, including blacksmith shops, communal showers, and a small distillery. The Insiders gang makes their own clothing at Little Looms and seems on the brink of taking up pottery. The Insider gang also established a cooperative autonomous community with laws as opposed to the tyranny of the Outsiders. Soon, Robin meets Father, who explains to him about the Insider's camp and its gang. Father introduces him to Hawkins, the chief security of the Insider gang. Robbins also reveals his escape from the Outsiders, which impresses the Father. Soon, Robin learns that the Insiders are heavily outnumbered by the Outsiders and that he's the only person to have ever escaped from Merrick's Outsiders camp. Father tells him that the rocket launcher weapon that he stole from Merrick is appropriated for the good of the community. After noticing Robbins' abilities, Father offers him to join the Insiders, but Robbins refuses and tells him that he wants to get off this island. Next, Father orders Hawkins to take him to Dysart, the only engineer of the Insider gang. Dysart is seen inspecting the rocket launcher that Robbins stole from Merrick. Moments later, 
Dysart and Hawkins take Robbins to one of the camp's posts and explain that they are 200 miles from the mainland. They also reveal that gunships patrol 50 miles off the coast, and infrared satellite technology monitors thermal activity, such as large fires or explosions, and also tells them that it's impossible to escape this island undetected. In the next scene, we see Robbins meet Tom King, the new arrival helper who tells him about hygiene and all. Later in the evening, we see Robbins going somewhere, but he immediately notices someone is following him. It turns out it's Casey, a naive young man who was given a life sentence for kidnapping that led to a dual felony murder accidentally when the hostages died. Impressed by Robbins' escape from Merrick, Casey wants to be a friend of Robbins, but he refuses and tells him to stop following him. After a while, Hawkins notices Robbins is leaving the insider's camp. Next, we see Robbins is seen sitting on a cliff near the sea. He looks at the sea, and upon it, he sees an animated graphic of a small gray slug-like escape pod that chugs along until it's blown up. After following Robbins for a while, Casey also reaches there. Listening to Casey talking about his past and the island for some time, Robbins eventually befriends Casey. Next, Casey introduces Robbins to X. X offers him the merchandise in exchange for his boots, but Robbins refuses and instead asks him if he has a boat. Later that night, Robbins notices something strange about the insider gang. He follows them to the jungle. Unfortunately, he gets caught by Hawkins and is sent back to the camp. The next morning, we see Robbins and Casey are seen having breakfast. He learns more about Casey. Suddenly, they spot a supply helicopter in the air. Casey tells Robbins that the supply drop is for the outsiders and that the insiders don't get any. After a while, we see Casey introduce Robbins to Killian, who is another member of the insider gang. Killian offers him his self-made drink. Moments later, they all hear a bell in the insider's camp, and they all go towards the gate. The king is seen banishing one of their gang members for not doing his job properly. After seeing this, Robbins is seen to contradict the king's rule of the insiders. In the next scene, we see the outsider's gang arguing with their leader Merrick for the food drop they received earlier. As a result, Merrick kills one of the gang members. Later that night, the insiders are seen celebrating Christmas. Eventually, Merrick's men pull a surprise attack on the insiders' camp. They use flaming arrows to set most of the place ablaze, although the next day there's curiously little fire damage, and both the gangs engage in bloody hand-to-hand -hand combat. The father escapes and hides in his room, but Merrick sees him and traps him. While Merrick is about to kill the father, Robin saves him. Merrick then runs away from there along with his gang members. The father informs Robbins that the outsiders attack like this four or five times a year. Later, Killian is seen talking to Robbins. He reveals to Robbins that the warden wants insiders and outsiders to fight and die fighting. The next morning, Robbins wakes up and runs for the cliff near the sea. He finds the father, Hawkins, and Dysart are looking at the boat leaving the island. Soon, Robbins learns that the insiders have secretly built a scan-proof boat and launched it to tell the outside world about Absalom. However, the boat is detected and destroyed by attack helicopters, causing Father to believe that there's an informer among them. In the next scene, we see Robbins arrive at Dysart's place. Robbins, who is still determined to escape, learns about a new boat and demands a seat. After learning that the engine needs a distributor, a part that Robbins saw while in Merrick's camp, he offers to retrieve it in exchange for passage for him and his friend Casey. The insiders agree. When Casey learns Robbins is going to Merrick's camp, he tries to convince Robbins to let him go alongside, but Robbins refuses. In the next scene, we see Robbins heading towards the outsiders. Despite Robbins' denial, Casey follows him, but soon gets caught. Meanwhile, Robbins infiltrates the outsiders' camp and gets the engine part. Then, he creates a distraction in the outsiders' camp and saves Casey, who is tied up by the outsiders. When Robbins and Casey are trying to escape, they get caught by the outsiders' gang leader, Merrick. Merrick throws them in the pool and forces Robbins to fight Casey to the death. Knowing they won't both escape, Casey impales himself on Robbins' weapon, leading to his death. After a while, we see Robbins is set to be executed by Merrick. Fortunately, Robbins escapes the execution with the help of an insider spy, infuriating Merrick. In the next scene, Robin gives the distributor to Dysart. Here at the father's place, we see father is extremely ill. Robbins informs him and other insider gang members about Merrick's attack. Soon, the insider's gang starts making a plan to defend Merrick. Knowing that they are outnumbered, Robbins convinces the insiders to abandon their camp, but not before lacing it with booby traps. Later that night, Hawkins tells Robbins about how he built that place for 13 years and cannot abandon the place just like that. 
Robbins tells Hawkins that he will stay behind to fire the stolen rocket launcher, igniting an incendiary bomb. The next morning, we see everyone in the insider's camp abandoning the camp. When Robbins learns that the father is dying, he goes to meet him. The father then requests him to take his place when he dies, but he denies it and tells him that he plans to escape this island. In the next scene, Robbins tells father about his past and the reasons why he must escape from the island. The following morning, Merrick and his outsider's gang reach the insider's camp. Merrick learns that no one is at the camp as they enter the insider's camp. However, we see Robbins was hiding with a rocket launcher for them to arrive. Soon, Merrick heads towards Robbins to kill him, but Robbins launches the rocket and kills most of the outsiders except for their leader, Merrick. Back at the prison, the warden suspects some unusual activity on the island. He then orders his men to prepare a helicopter to go to the island immediately. At the insider's camp, we see the remaining members of the outsiders are running away. Unfortunately, Merrick is alive and still inside the insider's camp. In the next scene, Father visits Robbins and suddenly, Merrick also reaches there and tries to kill Robbins. One thing leads to another and the father dies while defending Robbins from Merrick. After brief combat between Robbins and Merrick, he finally takes down Merrick. Moments later, he finds the new boat incinerated and evidence that the king has killed Dysart. Meanwhile, we also see the warden is on his way to the island. Finally, Robbins learns that the king is the double crosser. He forces the king to give new coordinates to the warden to land his helicopter on the island. When the helicopter lands, Robbins and his men hijack the helicopter, killing all the guards and throwing the warden out of there. The king and the warden are left behind as unseen outsiders close in on them. In the last scene of the movie, Robbins is seen escaping the island in the helicopter. Thanks for watching. Check out this video now and sub for the next upload.